Welcome. Today I'm going to show you how to create your own tessellation inspired by the artist we're studying, M.C. Escher. This is one of his that he created. And a tessellation is just a shape that repeats to make a pattern. And there's no overlaps or no gaps. So we're going to create our own shape to make our own tessellation. And there's a few things you're going to need. So you'll need scissors and a three inch by three inch square piece of paper, or if you happen to have sticky notes around, that works perfectly. A pencil, you'll need tape, and then you'll need to trace it onto a piece of paper. So an eight and a half by 11 copy paper, or if you have construction paper, it's probably more like a nine by 12, but somewhere in that range would work perfectly. So you're gonna start out, I'm just gonna use a sticky note, and you're gonna have your square, and you are going to make what I call like a nibble, like a little bite out of one side of your square. You can either do organic, curvy lines, you could add geometric angle lines, it is up to you. It's important to leave a little space on the edges and also, it's much more interesting if you go into the square a little bit and it will make for a better design. You're going to do one side and then the side and another side. So one on the top and one on the side. And those are the only two little drawings or nibbles you'll take out of this. So you don't really know what it's supposed to be and it doesn't have to be anything right now. You're just creating these shapes. When you get that done you're going to cut these out and so i have one that i already started and i did these two little nibbles so i have this one and this one and now what we're going to do is we're going to slide this one straight across to this side so i'll show you again this is where it came that's how i cut it out and it fits right in there slide it straight across. I'm not flipping it over or do any or doing anything like that. To make sure I get it in the right spot right here, I'm just going to I don't want to bend it. I'm just going to curve this over so I can see okay, it goes right there. And I'm just going to draw a little line. You're going to need a piece of tape. And I'm going to tape that piece on. Now I'm going to do the same thing with this one. This one goes here. I'm going to slide it straight across. And to make sure I get it in the right spot, I'm just going to slide this up and see how far over that shape should start. And it's right there. And I'm going to tape that on so it's right up next to the edge. So now I have my shape that looks like this. When you're ready to trace it on the paper, you can either have it go straight across or if you would rather it go on a diagonal, it does not matter how you start that first piece because once you start it, all the others will line up with it. Uh, this is kind of nice because the sticky note has the sticky on there and it helps hold it in place. But if you're not using a sticky note, you could just take a piece of tape, put it under there, and that way as you move it and you trace it, it won't slide around on you. So I'm just going to lay this down and trace over it. messed up right there. I'll pull that off. That is the shape. And then I'm going to repeat it over here. So what I want to do is I'm going to take this, slide it over, and figure out where it matches up. 
And if it doesn't match up exactly, that's okay. I'm going to just try to get it as close as I can to that same spot so that when I trace it, it's going to fit just like a puzzle piece. Now here, I'm going to go right off the edge. So when I pull that off, you can see, go back and fill in a few little spots. That goes right off the edge. When you do these parts down here, you're going to actually slide it down and this one will fit in this spot right here and then you can keep tracing. You're going to trace these until your whole page is filled and then we will talk about what we're going to do with this next time.